I recently bought several stocks from the market, including Apple, Nvidia, Ford, and Neo. Before making my decision, I did thorough research on each of them, however, during my research, I found some flaws in these stock algorithms. Although they are valuable assets for investors, these stocks can also be a double-edged sword. In particular, NEO stocks can be risky if not properly scrutinized. I may have missed some critical details along the way, which almost caused my portfolio to take a hit. But I was lucky to avoid major losses. Guys, NEO stock right now is more undervalued, more cheap than it was back in 2019 when it had the all-time lows. In this video, I would like to share some of the potential pitfalls and opportunities related to NEO stocks. By doing so, I hope to help you avoid making the same mistakes that nearly caused me to lose money. But first, let's discuss the issue that caused my gains to decrease. NIO Inc. is a holding company that designs, manufactures, and sells electric vehicles. It was founded by Bin Li and Li Hongkin on November 28, 2014, and is headquartered in Jiading, China. One of its notable products is the Electric Performance 9 Supercar, a battery-powered, two-seat sports car manufactured by RML Group on behalf of the company. Hello and welcome. I'm very happy to report that today we are at Zhejiang International Circuit because we have been given the rare opportunity to drive one of the fastest electric cars ever made, the NEO EP9. It costs in excess of $2 million it has 1,000 kilowatts or about 1,340 horsepower, and there are only 16 on the entire planet. We embarked on a project to upgrade an existing supercar to incorporate additional technology elements that would allow it to drive without a driver behind the wheel. Obviously, the EP9 is an extremely sophisticated vehicle to begin with, so we were able to tap into a lot of that technology. NEO offers several power solutions to its users, including home charging, Power Express valet services, access to public charging, access to mobile charging trucks, and battery swapping. The company also provides additional services, such as service packages, battery payment arrangements, vehicle financing, and license plate registration. All of these offerings make NEO an attractive option for electric vehicle enthusiasts. NEO's stock experienced a significant increase on Tuesday morning, trading up by 8.2%. This news led to broad-based gains for Chinese stocks, with China's large government-owned banks supporting the country's currency. And I find NEO to be interesting, uh, quite honest with you. Uh, I, I think there's potential upside and there's the support, if you will, from the Chinese government. So just going to go off the board a little bit. But like you, uh, this is going to be an exhaustive week, but I'm looking forward to it. The electric vehicle company also benefited from this bullish momentum. While NEO had a great run in the market, it eventually hit the seafloor in terms of market scale, however. Based on its expected sales for the year, NIO may seem undervalued for a company that has recently returned to posting solid growth in quarterly revenues and vehicle deliveries. That said, the business is still incurring losses, and its path to profitability is uncertain. It is important to note that China's economy has faced challenges due to the coronavirus pandemic, resulting in an uneven performance. This has had a significant impact on the stock, finance, and capital markets. However, the government in Beijing has stepped in to support the growth of the country's property sector. Due to the challenging macro backdrop, NIO and other China-based stocks have underperformed over the past year, however. State-owned banks are taking measures to strengthen the offshore currency of the Chinese yuan. This involves buying up yuan and selling U.S. dollars, making it more difficult to short its currency and providing support for the stocks of China-based companies. According to top investor databases such as Reuters, China's leading state-owned banks are expected to take steps to strengthen the yuan while reducing bearish pressures on the country's stocks. This move is expected to benefit electric vehicle makers, positioning them well for growth. The positive outlook for Chinese stocks, along with bullish momentum, is expected to benefit the EV company and lead to broad-based gains in the industry. NIO's stock showed significant gains, rising by 9.2% within a week. 
However, it then dropped by approximately 42.5% in the following week and eventually decreased by 90% from its peak earlier in 2021. Despite experiencing a great surge in the stock market during the pandemic, the electric vehicle manufacturer has been struggling to recover in recent years. The company's valuation has been adversely affected by unfavorable macroeconomic conditions in China. You mentioned that China flow out of bonds. I should mention, it's not just bonds, it is stocks too. Over the past year, China's economy and its stock market have gotten beaten up pretty badly. Although NIO's current stock level may seem attractive, it still carries a high level of risk and is not a low-risk investment. Additionally, investors should exercise caution due to the Chinese property sector's reluctance to stimulate the broader economy through financial initiatives. Investing in the Chinese market comes with its own set of risks, including macroeconomic and geopolitical factors. The future of NIO's rally depends on whether the Chinese government provides additional economic support, which is uncertain at the moment. If you are willing to take on some risk for potential gains in the EV market, investing in NIO's shares at their current price could be a good option. However, if you are not comfortable with the added risk that comes with investing in Chinese stocks, then NEO might not be a suitable fit for your investment portfolio. Would I deem it wise to invest $1,000 in NEO stocks right now, or would I rather fade on it and go for another stock entirely? The answer is quite rhetorical, because the share price of NIO today has fallen below its IPO price of under $5.50. This might look cheap, but I would have to decide whether the stock is a genuine bargain buy or a topsy-turvy financial result point. Moreover, there are mixed feelings about this, and it's hard to draw firm conclusions from NIO's recent earnings report. The company's still an unprofitable enterprise with a net loss of $776.4 million in the final quarter. The full-year deficit stands at a whopping $2.9 billion. Those numbers don't immediately fill me with confidence, however, it is worth remembering that Tesla's first full-year profit took 18 years to materialize, and NIO isn't even a decade old yet. Perhaps at 5.5%, it's almost half what it was in 2022. By contrast, domestic competitor Li Auto had a much healthier 22.2% gross margin last year. For Tesla, the figure is 18.2%. EV maker NEO secures $2.2 billion from Abu Dhabi investor CYVN. The new investment, with the closing expected in the final week of December, would increase CYVN's shareholding to 20.1% of NEO's total issued and outstanding shares, following an investment of $1 billion in July. Nonetheless, there have been eye-catching recent developments. A substantial cash injection from the closing of a strategic investment by UAE-based fund CYVN um, and the launch of its hyper-premium ET9 flagship sedan are notable highlights. But let's pause for a moment and look at it from another angle. You know, looking at it from the bigger picture, much has been written about the long-term growth potential of the EV market, both in China and the wider world. Global EV sales ledger shows that EV vehicles will grow 5x from 13.6 million units in 2023 to nearly 67 million units by 2035, representing a compound annual growth rate of 14.2%. Government and traditional automakers' supportive policies underpin the robust long-term growth outlook. Emissions reduction targets and government incentives continue to act as structural support for NIO stock and other EV shares. That said, there are signs the boom is slowing in the company's home market. Chinese EV sales are expected to grow 20% this year, down from 30% in 2023. Moreover, competition in the sector is increasingly cutthroat, and the price war between car makers is escalating. There's no doubt the new ET9 is a luxurious product. Yet, I'm worried that NIO's strategy to launch its most expensive car to date amid wider fragility in the world's second largest economy might be a misguided step as consumers look for cheaper models. Beyond the slowdown in EV demand, there are further challenges for the NIO share price from the brutal stock market sell-off that has affected the vast majority of Chinese and Hong Kong shares. The state-backed intervention has rekindled some confidence, but major risks remain. I still have serious concerns about the company's margins and 
premium product strategy, in addition to a reluctance to buy Chinese stocks at present, I won't be investing today, but investors who buy into the company's vision may wish to consider doing so while the stock trades near a 52-week low. If experts and great investors like Mark Rogers advise against investing in NEO stocks, then there is no reason for me to buy them unless I am willing to take higher operational risks. Investing in NEO stocks comes with potential risks, including the possibility of the investment's value decreasing, and my capital being at risk, therefore, before making any investment decisions. I would consider seeking independent financial advice to better understand the potential risks and make a more informed decision, because this isn't a financial advice. I'm curious to know what you do in this situation. That's it for today's video. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the post notification so you won't miss more of this video. Your support helps us reach more people with our content. Thanks for watching.